Hey Nature Brains, here's a riddle for you. What looks like a desert, but is really full of water? It looks like a desert in a certain sense. We are in a very high altitude. Now we are here around 11,000 feet. And there's enough water hiding up here to supply Bogota, the capital city of Colombia, with most of its water. So what is this place? The answer to our riddle is a Paramo. It's a high mountain grassland found mostly in the Andean tropics. During the day, there's intense sunlight, but at night, it's freezing. It's very similar to the desert, where you have also not this strong temperature variation. So all these plants have to be adapted to this extreme climate, no? The plants you see here are so well adapted that most of them, like this species of Fray Lejon, a bizarre relative of the daisy family, can be found nowhere else in the world. That's because each Paramo is isolated among the mountains, so no one of them is alike. Nature Conservancy biologist Tomas Walshberger has been working to protect Colombian Paramos, like this one in Chingasa National Park. So, Tomas, why are Paramos so special? So they are unique ecosystems, no? because they are high mountain grasslands, and they are very, very important also for water regulation, no? because they retain a lot of water. This looks so dry. I can't imagine that there's water. This grass is absorbing well, if water. We, if we dig here, no, you see it's, it's very moist. It's like a sponge that releases water during the dry season. And they are almost all protected. Paramos are protected by law in Colombia, but they're still threatened as agriculture and cattle ranching move up slope. And lately, scientists are seeing a whole new batch of settlers here. A lot of newcomers coming in insects. Beetles and caterpillars have been plaguing the Fray Lejones in other Andean Paramos, Walshberger says. But he hasn't seen them here in Chingasa National Park. Well, not until now. This is incredible, no? This is the first time I, I am seeing here in this Paramos. No? Here we see black spots are the dung no? from the beetle. Gradually, no, they can kill this this plant. Walshberger thinks gradual changes in the climate could be pushing pests and pathogens up into the Paramo. For a plant to move, it's very slow, but insects can move very, very fast. And so temperature may have increased during the last 30, 40 years, maybe in one degree. While species here are used to rapidly changing temperatures, scientists still don't know how many degrees of change the Paramo can take. What they do know is that half of Colombia's population, over 20 million people, depend on Paramos for their water. Bogotá, Medellín, Cali, no, which are the three biggest cities in Colombia, depend completely on the water supply from Paramos. So we are helping to protect all these Paramos no, because they are critically important for people. To find out more about Paramos and what you can do to protect them, head on over to our website, nature.org. Reporting from Chingasa National Park in Colombia, this is Julia Kumari-Drapkin for Nature Brains.